How's it going everyone? I'm C-Dub and today we're going to be going over Custom Forge. So Custom Forge is a website where people go that play Rocksmith to get free downloads of their favourite tracks. Now some of the downloads on there are fine, the tablature and stuff like that is all correct but some aren't so you're going to have to find the best ones that work for you. But in order to actually use Custom Forge, you have to first sign in to Custom Forge. So what you want to do is you want to make an account. So you create an account and then go down to here where it says create account. And read through all the rules and the terms and conditions. And then I've read the conditions and I've understood. Continue. And this is where you put in your username, your email, your password, um, what platform you've got Rocksmith on. So Steam, PS3, PS4, Xbox 360, Xbox One or iOS, which is Mac. Um, you don't have to fill out your Steam stuff or anything like this. And then just put in the answer to this question. So basically they know you're not just a bot and then create account. So I'm going to sign into mine. So once you've signed in and made an account, you want to go to the link in the description and it will bring up this page. And so what this is, is this page will lead you to a download file to put into your Rocksmith folder to allow custom games, custom songs, sorry, to be played in Rocksmith. Once you're here, go to this link here if you're on PC, if you're on Mac, go to this link here. I think this also works if you're on Xbox and PlayStation. So click the link. Click download. Click save. So once your file is downloaded, you want to go to your Steam. Go to your library, go to Rocksmith, right click, properties, local files, and then browse local files. Now this is where you want to drop the file. So if you can see here, I've got it there already. What I'll do is just to show you that it works, I will um, put it in there. Here's my downloads, as you can see. I'll then just drag it across. And that's it there. And then that means that you can now go back to Custom Forge, which is here. Go to CDLC search. And there you go, these are all the songs that you can download. Um, so type your favourite song in here and if it has it, it will come up like this. Over here is what I do. So I click the DLs, which is how many downloads it's had until you get the highest number for your song because that means that it's obviously the best one. Um, the parts mean, so the L is lead, the R is rhythm and the B is for bass. And then you have your platforms here. Now this is what you need to look out for. If you're on Windows, then most of these are going to be fine. If you're on Mac, as you can see, some of them are greyed out. So if they're greyed out, you can't use them. Same with the Xbox and the PS. So make sure that you've got these clicked. And I'm pretty sure in the filters, you can actually, yeah, so you can change the platform. So just click to whatever one you are, and then it will only find it for your platform. And that's it. When you go into Rocksmith, all you need to do from there is learn a song. And that's it. That's done. And I hope that helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want to catch me on Twitch, I stream every day from about 12 UK time. And if you want to 
uh, follow me on there, follow me on there and ask me if you have any troubles live and we can go through it together as a community. So I hope that helps and I hope you, get, you guys get it all working and uh, have a good day. Bye.